big pill. Two thousand years later. Nice, beautiful rainbow trout. Look at that motherfucker. Got blue on him. Excuse my language. Yeah, that's a pink stripe right there and then the blue on the top. Look how the blue on the top. It's usually gray. It's like a grayish blue. He is gorgeous. So strong. Yeah, that was a perfect hook set right on the lip. Quit moving. Gonna hook me. Thank you. Thank you, gorgeous. Oops. I was gonna do a, a catch and cook today, but I kind of forgot my pan I was gonna use. I got seasonings in the car, but I forgot my pan. So we're not gonna do that, but we'll do the catch and cook when I get home. The next day welcome back to big crip fishing we here back at home and i told you guys i was going to give you a catch and cook so um i'm gonna go ahead and um cut the head off and gut out the trout first and i'll come back with it already ready to go and i'll i'll actually fillet it for you guys here that way you can see that but just in case you two want to get finicky about guts and stuff and blood i'm not going to show that part I am going to show some of my um, gear, like I promised you I would. Um, I was actually using this one earlier today. This is a little jig. I got two jigs with a bobber. And this is uh, Old Trusty. I caught a nine pound catfish on this broken pole here. My good luck charm. But I, I'm using these. I didn't get no bites, but... These are used by a lot of people. Still a little wet. They got uh, the feathers on the end of them. And it's a little jig head. I don't know if you can see that. With a little gold hook on there. And uh, 
that's what I was using today. It was really windy, so I didn't have any luck. I got some bites, but it was so hard to tell um, if it was the wind blowing hard or if it was a bite. So I just was like, man, I'm going to hang my hat up on that. But this is good old trusty. It's a Shakespeare. Um, it's a Shakespeare pole. This is a regular old trout pole. I got 20-pound test or braided line going down to 6-pound for the trout fishing. And uh, I use this pole a lot. Also, I got, this is the pink duke. It's because it was pinky, but I put the dukes of Earl's reel on it. So, let me see here. We got a trout line. We got 20-pound test right here. Going to, I think it's 8-pound, I believe, test line on here. I got a little treble hook on this one and on the bottom one some power bait worm with a little circle hook real small hook on that one I should get them tiny boys and uh that's also a Shakespeare pole that I'm using but I'm using a Pacino reel on this guy let me see if I can get it up here there you go this is a Pacino reel um I forgot how many Test this guy it was but it has a lot of poundage on it it's a great reel i like the reel it's a 20 dollar reel but um it works good for me so i like using it those are my little cheap old trout poles here's another one i actually found this one off of Katero and uh this by the santa cruz where i'll be fishing for carp found this guy little Zebco $10 reel, man. Got six pound test on there to a trout line. As you can see, that got a little power bait on there still that I was using. With your little sinker weight on the bottom. This is what I've been fishing for, using for uh, trout fishing this year. And then, introduce you to my big catfishing pole, man. Now this is my beach fit. It's a 10 foot pole. Beef stick. Going down to a pin series two. We got 50 pound braided line going down to salt water. Uh, 40 pound test. Got the 40 pound test with the beads got my hook hanging here just a little hook right now because it's winter time so putting small bait on and that's on 40 pound test or 30 pound test on that leader down to a two ounce bullet weight and uh i love this pole because it's built for me by a good friend of mine luan What's up, Luan? Shouts out to you, my dude. He, he put this casting cannon on here. This guy right here, man, you're getting as far as you need. This will get you to the big fish. Guaranteed to the big fish. But yeah, I love this pole. Um, Any fish I've caught on this pole is getting hooked. He's coming in. A lot of control. I, I have a lot of control with that pole, so that's why I like it. Well, that's it for now. That's just all the gear I wanted to show you. Um, I am getting new trout poles and new catfish poles. I have another catfish pole, but it's put up. Um, I haven't been using them at all. It's a Shakespeare pole, a tiger Shakespeare catfish pole. Um, Got the two hooks set up on that, just like the trout line, just for catfishing. And, um, yeah, that's what I've been using. Uh, I, I am stepping up my gear as far as um, the quality of stuff. So, that's when I got Big Crippa, you know what I mean? Catch some big guys. So, that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to make me a trout sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Fried trout sandwich. So, I'll be back.
Well, I don't know what happened, but this is the outcome of that. I got one good fillet, and I got a mangled fillet. But it's going to work out, and it's going to still be delicious. So I'll be back. Um, I thought I was recording, and I guess I wasn't, or it was too long or whatever. But I was showing you how I was filleting this. Uh, next time, I'll make sure to get it on there. I thought I was recording. It's crazy. But um, again, I'm using flour with breadcrumbs. I made my own breadcrumbs. I got some Louisiana hot sauce right there with some Cajun seasoning and also some onion powder, some cracked pepper, and some cayenne pepper. Uh, a little spicy. We're going to make a little trout sandwich, fried sandwich. We're going to fry it up and uh, go from there. Got my toast ready, you know, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to rinse these off. Soak them in there for in the Louisiana hot sauce and get to it. I'm also going to fry me up a couple of taters. You know, got to have some taters with a sandwich. Just goes together. So I'll be back. About to get down like James Brown. We're going to fry us up some trish down. I right, got my toast ready, ready to go with some honey mustard, some wild honey mustard. Let me get this off the heat for a little bit. Get these little mangled up pieces first. Keep them nice and coated in the half and half flour and bread crumbs. Just soaking in all the seasonings. You got some action going right there. You got some action going there. So I got some vegetables cut up right there. I'm about to cut up some potato real quick. So I have me some fried potatoes. I got my toast ready. I'm about to put that together and I'll get back at you. All right. So we got this cooking up. That's how it's looking. You dig? And uh, potatoes coming up soon. All right. I'm finishing the last of the taters. We got the taters in there. That's what happened to the top of my oven sandwich. Right there, so that one's not getting my other one fell apart over there, but I tasted the fish. I'm not gonna lie to you, and um, yeah, delicious. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna put this, finish putting this together. Sit down, and we gonna eat this trout that I caught for free. You did. Holla at you. All right, we are here. Look at that. We're gonna mess with the one that's more put together a little bit. I got some more Louisiana hot sauce Popeyes. You know, no, they do not sponsor me. Ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna put some of that on the potatoes. Mm. Man. I put those potatoes in the same flour and bread from as the trout to get that seasoning. Mmm. You definitely got to try them. Mm-hmm. I gotta tell you, a catch and cook ain't a catch and cook without an epic fail. My bread's falling apart. Couldn't fillet them trout right. And um, a lot of the complete top to this one, so you know, catch and cook, gotta love them. Mm. I'm telling you, I was eating this trout by itself, and um, no, mm hmm, mm hmm, for sure, fine, fine. Great on the seasoning. I know you're wondering why I got it falling apart, but 
Oh yeah, I'm still eating. But listen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. I like them. Thank you for coming to Big Crip Fishing.